is an information technology degree worth it? What are you going to study and learn when you enroll in a degree like this? What kind of jobs can you get and how much money can you make with these types of careers? And can you accelerate these degrees and earn them in less time than the traditional four-year degree plan? If that's what's on your mind, that's what this video is all about. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna jump over to my computer and dive into whether or not an information technology degree is the right degree for you. So first off, what is information technology? What are you going to learn? What are your job responsibilities going to be? So in, in basic, in general, you're going to be building communications networks for a company or for companies um, and basically safeguard data and information. So when I think about this, I'm, I think about companies, okay? Companies all use certain software, certain communication platforms, things like that. And basically, entire companies work on networks, okay? And it basically, a network, it essentially ties a whole bunch of computers together so that a whole group of employees can be working on the same projects, sharing information back and forth, communicating very easily, but all the information and all the projects that they're working on are safeguarded and protected from the outside world. That's essentially what an information technology specialist does. There are other jobs you can get into with these degrees as well, but it's a really cool career and there's a strong need for it. Now, even though tech is changing, there's still a strong need for IT specialists. And what I will say is that an IT specialist uses different tactics and methods and different a different process for building things than they did 20 years ago. And that's part of the tech world in general, but there's still a strong need for protected and safe networks for companies to use as they're working, right? Yes, the process has changed, technology has changed, but the end solution is still a strong need. So there are the, the, the job industry for these types of jobs continues to grow. Now, there are many jobs in these fields where you can make over $100,000 a year. So that's a very, very strong, good salary. One thing I will say is that there are also a whole lot of jobs in IT that don't pay $100,000 a year, more in that 60, 70, $80,000 a year range. So you, if you wanna break that $100,000 a year and have the, the higher paying career, you need to be good at what you do and you need to be good with people and you need to be a huge asset to whatever company you're working for. That is where knowledge and IT meets personality traits and, and work ethic and things like that. And the same goes for most fields, right? Most fields, if you just walk out of college and try to get a long-term job and you don't ever put in the work to climb the ladder or get promotions or anything like that, you can get stuck in a lower paying job. That's that's true with IT as well. Now, I will say that I am a bigger fan of computer science degrees. The reason is computer science degrees can get you all sorts of different jobs and you can still learn IT as well. So if you just wanna get into the tech world in general, study computer science degrees as well. But if you want to be an IT specialist, you absolutely need an IT degree because you can be top of the list for that job because you're a strong specialist in that area. Um, you can also go niche in the tech world. You can get software development degrees. If you're like, oh, I wanna be a software developer, get a software development degree. You can study cybersecurity. If you wanna just be on the security and protection side of things, you can study cybersecurity. But like I said, IT is kind of like your core general technology degree that's been around for years and years and years and is respected by lots and lots of employers. Now, 
I want to discuss what types of jobs you can get if you're working with an information technology degree. If you're entering the workforce, trying to get a job, here's a small list of jobs that you can get. And yes, there are more jobs than this, but luckily I was able to find some uh, some average income statistics. And the source for this information is the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Okay. Now, the very your very entry level job in the tech field is going to be basically a computer support specialist. You do a lot of answering phones and helping people fix their computers over the phone and diagnosing problems and things like that. Now, you don't necessarily need a degree to get a job like this, but you can maybe get a management job in these types of companies with an IT degree. And the average salary is going to be $55 to $56,000. Now, one step up uh, financially or income wise is going to be a web developer. Okay. Now on average, they're making $77,000 a year A network and computer systems administrator, $85,000 a year about a computer programmer pushing $90,000 a year, a computer systems analyst, uh, pushing $94,000 a year, a database administrator, pushing almost $100,000 a year. And then we've got some higher tier jobs that on average make more income, all of which average over $100,000 a year. The first is an information security analyst. Also, software developers can make really good money. A computer network architect. And the top tier income level is going to be for computer and information systems managers, averaging over $150,000 a year. Now, if you're interested in any of these jobs specifically, do a deeper study, a deeper dive for your specific job that you're looking into. What I always, always recommend is if you decide you're interested in a job and it sounds cool and it sounds good, do some job shadowing and find a company that you could potentially work for and go and spend a few days there and see what employees do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really, really common for someone to do their research and studying and decide, you know what, this degree sounds like it's a good fit. I'm going to go for it. Then you graduate, get your degree, get the job and end up realizing you don't like the job. That's a really bad situation to be in. So if you're thinking, I want an IT degree, I want to get into the IT field, do some job shadowing, do some job research, and then actually figure out what your day-to-day -day life will be like with those specific jobs. Now, if you're wondering, well, I want an IT degree, but I don't have four to six years to give to college. The average bachelor's degree is earned in more than six years in the United States of America, okay? The average is six years to earn a bachelor's degree, okay? That's crazy, and most of us don't have that kind of time, and most of us don't have that kind of money to just pay towards tuition, tens and tens of thousands of dollars. You can earn an information technology, technology degree much, much faster. In fact, you can earn these degrees in as little as six months um, and fairly easily simply and fairly easily in under a year if you have the work ethic and you're willing to work really hard, okay? The process is different because schools will never show you how to earn your degree faster because if you graduate faster, you don't have to pay them as much in tuition, right? So they're not going to show you how to do this, but there are a few different processes and strategies that you can use to essentially test out of all of your college classes. So essentially, you take one exam for each class Instead of going through all the course material and, and reading the textbooks and doing the homework and, and all that stuff, you can skip all that, take an exam, and pass the test by passing an exam. Now, the best way that I have found to do this is called degree hacking. Essentially, you find a school that allows you to test out of your classes, and then you self-study. You figure out what's going to be on the test, and you learn those things, and then you take the test. Uh, like I said, this process is called degree hacking. I used this process to earn an entire bachelor's degree in just nine months. And my hope is that you can do it even faster. If you'd like to learn how to do this, down below in the video description, I'm going to leave a link, okay? 
And this link will take you to a free training, absolutely free, no strings attached, free training down below that walks you through the three-step process of degree hacking, okay? It's so much easier than sitting in a classroom for four to six years, and you'll save a whole lot of money on tuition. Like I said, that link's down below in the description. If you're on your smartphone, you can tap the title of this video and the description will open up. If you're on your uh, desktop or laptop, just scroll down a little bit and you'll see that link. I hope this video has helped you. If you like videos like this where I walk through different degrees or share tactics and strategies on how to graduate college faster and how to save a whole bunch of money on tuition, subscribe to the channel and you'll start seeing more videos like this. Hope you've had a wonderful day. Feel free to leave questions in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video.